Hey folks, Kathy Williams DeVries here, um, bringing you the third movement of the Hindemith Clarinet Sonata. And this movement is the main movement of the piece. It's the longest movement and it's one of the most challenging um, because it's very dark, heavy and ponderous. It takes a great deal of energy to play. Um, and a lot of control and you really need to subdivide really well because you're in 4-8 which is something you're not usually in usually you'd be in the 2-4 rather than a 4-8 but um, it's about uh, uh, quaver equals 60 so um, now I found out who the clarinet is I'm using a Naxos recording from 2009 via the Naxos uh, database which I have access to through my university which you might have to if you go to your university library um, catalogue on your computer and uh, search for Naxos you'll see a couple of Naxos uh, databases it gives you access to all the Naxos recordings and others like EMI and, and that sort of thing so the uh, clarinetist and please forgive my Australian accent is Lars Wouters van der Uden Vija um, and it was recorded in 2009 um, there's more details at the front of this video but um, <clears throat> But this is very dark, heavy and ponderous. There's not a lot going on in the piano. So your forte here and you're in the shallow mode. So really heavy and dark and intense. <laughs> continues on with that before you Remembering to use the left hand C sharp, sorry, yeah, left hand C sharp, right hand B sharp, left hand C sharp, so you can do your right hand D sharp at 25. Let's have a listen. Point with the piano so that uh, the piano part is and you ply with when the piano replies you reply and here you're transposed upper fourth So um, use your covered fingerings. Just 
still again very heavy. intensity here although you're um, you're a little bit softer takes over the melody line. Uh, quite an interesting little, um, quite an interesting little triplets there. Remembering to use the left hand C so you can get to the right hand E flat.
let's have a look at the clarinet part here. So we've gone with this. And then we continue on, but listen to the piano part all the time. triplets here and then remember what the piano parts played before you takes over again so let's listen to the ensemble this next bit very very intensely page in the piano part which you should also be doing so really play so heavily when the th theme comes back and don't lose any of that intensity
and so we're in this last bit here again very very dark very very intense <laughs> intense and a little bit quicker actually a little bit slower did you hear the change in my G see that's the uh, covered fingering working for you fade into nothing until there's just breath. A little bit introspective too. So that's the longest movement, the third movement, uh, the most challenging movement, certainly the most draining as a player. Um, and uh, what can I say? It's just, uh, it's just an incredible piece of music. Um, you could probably um, liken it to some of the songs in Winterreise uh, by Schubert, but. Um, this uh, movement is one of very much a man of old age, probably quite overweight um, and overburdened with troubles. Um, so that's the third movement. Please join me for the very joyful and light fourth. 